Hi friends, Jekka here. I'm at my house and I was collecting together my trash and my recyclables to get ready for the end of the week. And I realized before I got to the recycling center that I kind of have a lot of questions about recycling. Like, why is it important to recycle? And what is the difference between upcycling and recycling? So I decided to ask my friend Olivia Barone, who's an expert on recycling, all my questions and some of your questions too. Hi friends, I'm so excited to have Olivia Barone join us today as our expert for recycling. Hi Olivia. Hi guys, I'm excited for this interview. Me too. Um, all right, so Olivia, where do you work and what is your title? I am the City of Montevallo Sustainability Coordinator and I work at Montevallo's Recycling Center, which is on um, the corner of Spring Creek and Overland Road. Awesome, so our first question is, why is it important to recycle? Recycling is a way that we can take something that would have been thrown away and give it a second life. Um, it reduces a lot of environmental impacts and it also uh, saves a lot of space in our landfills. So it's really awesome to recycle. Awesome. So my next question comes from my friend who is 12 years old and she wants to know, what is the difference between upcycling and recycling? That's a great question. Uh, recycling is when a material you know, comes to a place like this, a recycling center, then gets melted down, broken down, and turned into another material. And a you know, common misconception is that a plastic water bottle being recycled always turns into a plastic water bottle. But that's not always the case. Plastic water bottles can be broken down and recycled into pairs of jeans. I have some that have been labeled 30% water water bottle recycled wow. um yeah it's really it's really interesting um and then upcycling which is my um one that i like more is when you take a material that may have been uh thrown away single use disposable and you turn it into something new um jack i think you've had a few examples of crafts that you've upcycled and you, you've turned materials that may have been thrown away into something new. Yeah, like for Earth Day, we upcycled cans, or like aluminum cans into a wind chime. Also, what about like fabrics? Is that considered upcycling when you take clothes and maybe make a new clothing item or something out of it? Definitely, definitely. Like if someone took a t-shirt and formed it into a quilt, if someone, you know, I, I've taken old college t-shirts and made them into pillows, like little throw pillows. Um, that's definitely an awesome way to upcycle. And it keeps what you have for so much longer. You know, if you think about the, your lifespan of a t-shirt that you would wear versus the lifespan of a blanket you have, it's much longer. Yeah, that's a really good point too, and that you get to hang on to it for just that much longer. What does the recycling symbol stand for and what do the different numbers mean? Yeah, so um, the way I see the recycling symbol is this constant loop of, you know, you th throw something away, it ends its lifespan, but when you recycle, or for me, I think it's important to also reduce what you use reuse what you have like upcycling and refuse single use items altogether um, so it's this giant circle of this constant lifespan where we're not having to constantly use single use items and disposable things um, the yeah and, and the recycling symbol has the numbers in it uh, for the different plastic types not um, like paper and cardboard and aluminum cans, like they don't typically have the numbers on it. They'll have the please recycle 
symbol on it usually. Yes. This is from my friend who is five years old and they want to know why are recycling bins different colors than the trash bin? That is a really awesome question. Um, the recycling bins are different colors to help people differentiate between trash and recycling. Because um, what happens if a recycling container does have trash in it, it ends up contaminating the load. So when there's trash in recycling, it's called contamination. And when there's too much contamination, we can't recycle any of it. So the different colors help people to know, hey, this one is where I put my trash, like your food waste, um, your things that aren't recyclable. And then the recycling bin is usually a bright color, blue, green, to differentiate and say, hey, this is where you put your recycling. That's really good to know. I didn't know about the contamination factor. That's awesome. Thanks. Our next question. Oh, I like this question a lot. Is recycling something that just adults should do or how can kids help reduce waste? Yeah, that recycling is not just for adults. Recycling is for everyone. Anyone can get involved and anyone can start to make a difference in their community. Um, you know, kids especially, you know, you guys, go through a lot of different toys, see what you don't play with anymore and donate it to a, to a thrift store. Um, you know, and when you have lunch, see how much stuff you're throwing away. Did you really need that Ziploc bag? Um, you know, there, there's definitely ways that kids can start to think about how they use their single use products and, and see what they can do to, make a difference and make sure that less of their material goes to a landfill. Awesome. Well, thank you so much for joining us and taking time out of your day. I know I learned a lot. I'm sure our viewers will too. So thanks again. Yeah, I had so much fun. Olivia shared some great insights about recycling and I definitely learned a lot more than I knew before our interview. So I'm very excited that she was able to talk to us. She does want me to let you guys know that at the City of Montevallo Recycling Center, they can accept office paper, flattened cardboard, aluminum cans, plastics one and two. So if you get your recycling together this week and take it out there, remember to have it separated and you can put it in the individual bins. I can't wait to hear different ways that you guys have found to reduce waste at your homes.